Hey everybody, this is Cal from Tucuban. We are back after however long it's been. Very happy to be back. And in this video, we are going to take a look at the Fjall Robin High Coast Pocket Bag. We bought this, gosh, six months ago now, eight months ago. Uh, so this is kind of a long-term review here uh, where we'll kind of share our experience with using this bag. Hopefully it'll help you uh, decide if this is a bag that's fit for you. We were looking for a crossbody bag, something a little bit sporty, uh, something that's very versatile, can uh, feel at home on a hiking trip as, uh, as it would uh, walking around the city, exploring uh, the urban areas of the world. Phil Robin describes this as a practical small bag made of recycled polyamide that is perfect for taking only the most important things with you when traveling and in everyday life. The main compartment offers enough space for a smartphone and passport, an inner mesh pocket and an outer zipper pocket to keep things tidy. Multiple attachment options and adjustable straps allow it to be worn individually over the shoulder, on the chest, or on a belt. The outer material is waterproof, but the zippers and seams are not, so don't drench this in water. The bag can withstand some moisture, but cannot be submerged. It is uh, meant for everyday outdoor. It's unisex. Uh, it is water repellent, like we said. It's made without PFC. Uh, it is 17 centimeters tall, 11 centimeters wide, four centimeters deep. It has a volume of 0 0.8 liters. Uh, 0 0.8 liters and it weighs 85 grams very lightweight i don't really have anything else to compare it with right now we have a pair of sunglasses in here that you'll see let's take a close look on the inside so this is the main compartment it's uh it's kind of got two sections there's there's one towards the front and then there's a little, little space in the back divided by this mesh pocket it's not very a little bit of elasticity, yeah, a little bit loose, right? Kind of just sits there. It does a, an okay job of keeping it separate. I think, you know, most of the time, uh, depending on how you want to organize things, you can put something like this. I don't, yeah, we're using the phone right now, so this is just the case uh, for an iPhone 11 Max. Uh, yeah, we're a little bit behind, but it's still working, so we're good. Okay, so it fits in the back there. It's in the front, of course. Um, I don't think it fits in here. I don't think we've tried it. it yeah, it can. The, the one thing about this bag is there are two pockets, which is great, but there's not an easy access pocket. There's not one where you just... You know, it would have been great if it on the back. Maybe it had a, 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 a slip-through pocket or a slip-in pocket. That would have been easier to to slide something like your phone in and it's closer to your body. That would have been nice, quick access to take it out for your for your photos. Uh, so sometimes we just leave one of these zippers open so we can take the phone in and out of. Uh, and of course, not to be missed, there's a keychain holder here. Yeah, we don't really use it. Not, not, not the way we carry our keys, uh, but it is there. If you prefer that, uh, doesn't, yeah, what is that? Like an inch and a half, two inches? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Uh, we like this kind of retro, retro frail robin logo that they have. Very subtle bag, um, I think it's very handsome, especially in this color, this is the navy. And you look at the details of like the zippers here, the color combination. Really handsome. Um, I believe these are, I don't know what zippers these are. I don't think they're YKK zippers. Let's take a quick look at the tag um, before we go into like the attachment parts of the bag. So we bought this from a retailer, local online retailer here in Germany um, called Zalando. This one is made in Indonesia. Uh, it comes with in, in several different colors. I believe right now there's uh, like 11 colors available. Um, so you can kind of see it there. 
Uh, as far as care goes, it's funny, you look on the website, it says, do not tumble dry, yeah, this. <laughs> do not wash, do not tumble dry, do not bleach. Uh, just use a, a, a warm towel, uh, not a warm towel, a moist towel, wet towel, damp towel, to wipe it down uh, and brush it off with your hands. Um, okay, attachment points. Um, right now we just have this like kind of kind of configured like this to be used uh, to be hung on the neck. Uh, you know, I think I think it's worth. You know, now now some people uh, have shared their experience online saying that they don't like this bag because these attachment points fail. It hasn't failed on us. The bag hasn't just you know kind of dropped it off or you know dropped off of this. And if you look at the mechanism here. It doesn't use any clasp or, or anything to kind of lock it in like a keychain holder, but it's pretty hard to try to get this off. You have to be pretty intentional, I think, with our bag. Maybe it's just our bag. But I would think in general, you have to be pretty intentional to want to take it off. Like you have to kind of move it a certain way. Um, so we haven't had an issue with this detaching, which is good, but you know, uh, and if anything, it's, it's kind of hard to, here, if I wanted to slide it like that, okay, okay, here we go. Maybe, maybe it's when, when people do it on the side. Maybe it's that. We have the option of hanging it like this, right? And like Fjall Robin mentioned earlier, or I mentioned reading off of Fjall Robin's website, uh, you can even have this on a belt. Right? So you, you, you put this on a belt, it's like a nice little waist pack. We've not used it that way, but not bad. Um, your choice, completely your choice, whatever whatever fits uh, your needs. Uh, we found this to be a good enough space for a phone, a pair of glasses, uh, maybe a pen, I don't know, some cash. If you have like an action cam, we're just using <laughs> we're just using uh, electronic cases. <laughs> uh, but you know, an action camera. Um, there, you want to maybe put in like a hard drive. I don't know. You're carrying, you know, um, going to your friend's house and you want to play some video games. I don't know. Uh, You'll wear your glasses. Yeah, it's it's summer. Hey, it's almost summer. Well, it's practically summer in most parts of the world. Okay, all right. Uh, ah, the cable. With an adapter, with a USB-C adapter, does it fit? Oh, you betcha. There you go. There you are. It's heavier now. I don't know how many grams that is, but um, there you have it. I think, you know, we've, we've enjoyed it. I, I think we're, we're happy with the purchase. We looked at like a Nike crossbody bag, Lululemon, Arcturix, uh, decided on going with this one. Just wanted something a little bit simpler. I think maybe, maybe if this was a little bit wider, that would have been great. If it had that extra third pocket where we can slip th things in without having to deal with zippers, that'll be awesome. Um, but for what it is, I think if this is a, this is a neat little bag, uh, to just carry around your basic, basic things that you need to kind of get around the day as you move around. Uh, but there you have it, the Fjall Robin High Coast Pocket. They have a few other pockets, different styles. Again, completely personal choice. We like this one. The material is nice and smooth. I will say after a couple months use, you can already kind of see a little bit of fraying here. Um... So if that bothers you, I mean, I, I guess that can happen with any of these fabric bags, right? Like any, any of these wear and tear, we call it. Um, but there you have it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments section below. If this video helped you, please give us a like. Please subscribe. We are back, I think. We're gonna try to make more videos. We'll post the ones that we made like two years ago. <laughs> uh, but anyways, there you have it. Hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself, stay safe. Thank you very much for watching, bye. Oh, just before, you know, I, I, I did forget. I was going to say I almost forgot. I actually did forget. Okay, one negative about this bag.
besides the, the wish list that we have. The strap here, oof, this can be rough on your neck, all right? So uh, in the winter time, when it's in the fall, when you have a jacket on, this is great, no problems. We're in the summer, no jacket, nothing kind of, uh, no fabric between the strap and your skin. And this can, I mean, I guess it depends on the way you wear it, but uh, we found this to be very rough on the neck uh, to the point where it kind of can cut uh, and, and, and cause a little bit of abrasion. Um, so keep that in mind. It's not, I mean, it's a basic, basic strap. I don't know if they sell those paddings like they do for their, for their backpacks, but if you're gonna be wearing this in the summertime, um, and just, just keep in mind, this could, this could bother some folks. Um, and that's where you might want to wear this as a belt <laughs> uh, or on your belt. But yeah, just want to make sure I pointed that out. Um,